Hello Taiko people, my name is Shoji Kometa and today I'm here to talk about the new Nadal Hiradaiko. This has quickly become one of my favorite drums to use, uh, favorite drums to play, favorite drums to tour with because of its portability, its versatility, and most importantly because it sounds uh, really fantastic. Let's play it a little bit and let's see how it sounds. So as you can hear, this drum has an incredible range of tones, especially for a taiko of this size. Um, let's hear that, uh, the don sound, the strike right to the center of the drum. So what's great about this drum is that the, as you move your strikes out to the rim of the drum, the colors really um, change nicely and it gives us a, a great range of different tones. So I'm just gonna hit in the, from the middle and we'll go out to the side and you can hear all those uh, differences. The other thing I really love to do with this drum is to use the left hand to um, dampen it and accentuate that, um, the tonal differences that you get from the center to the side. So let's hear how that goes. It's also a very versatile taiko. It makes a great tone with a, a, a quite a nice range of bachi. Um, here I have the uh, Leonard Eto uh, Bravo model Katsugi bachi, and these are um, these are really nice bachi for a variety of um, instruments. Um, obviously, uh, this primary use is for katsugi, but it also makes a great sound on a lot of these uh, mid-tone drums, like this one. I also have here. Um, my Lion Chant uh, Maple Tapered Bachi. I'm a little bit heavier, and if I had a sort of Chu Daiko in this Taiko set, I would probably um, go with this Bachi. Even though this Bachi is quite a bit heavier still, the, it'll make a great sound um, on this Taiko. And because it's maple, you can get the Ka sound, and uh, this Taiko has a very nice Ka sound. And the other bachi I have here is another um, Leonard Eto model. It's a whole uh, tapered bachi. Um, and there's, um, this sort of style of bachi is very popular for taiko set playing because of its versatility. This is a slightly thicker, um, fatter bachi than I'm used to, but this also will make a fantastic sound on this taiko.
I really love the tone of this natal hiradaiko. Um, it really has a nice warm uh, mid-tone. It's, it's not something that you find that often in, in taiko. Um, a lot of times we go for that mid-sound. We go for like a mid-size okedo or a katsugi. Um, but those tend to be a, a, a splashier sound. They're not, not as focused. The sound isn't as round or as, um, uh, or as tight, you know, the, if, you, if, you play, if you have that, trying to get that mid-tone through um, an okedo, it tends to be a, a slightly messier tone. Um, so what I really love about this drum is it gives you that sort of mid-range, something between a chudaiko and a shime, but it has a really beautiful, round, full tone. Because of its versatility, it works really great with other taiko. So here I have um, one of my horse hide um, okedo and uh, the, the neida hida daiko here. And um, I'm going to play both of these together, and you can hear um, how they sound really fantastic together. What's also really fantastic about this instrument, especially for you touring musicians out here, is the, uh, the stand. Um, the stand is very innovative. It's a brand new design uh, by Miyamoto Nosuke Shoten. And um, I'm going to show that to you guys now. What's really fantastic about this stand is, first of all, it, um, it sounds great. I think a lot of you guys are familiar with the sort of hanging um, style of stands that's um, very popular with okedo. And the reason why I like these stands is that the drum just floats in space, so it's super resonant and uh, just sounds beautiful. Um, but the, the main drawback to those stands is that it does come apart, but there's like these two big pieces. You have this big C-shaped piece, and you have this big long piece. Um, and they're not as portable as they could be. Um, what's really great about this stand is, first of all, it has wheels, so you can just wheel it around. And second of all, it comes apart into all these parts um, and packs very nicely into this case. So let me show you that uh, now. I'm going to take the drum off of the stand, just taking these guys off. Put the drum here. I'm going to take these leather pieces off. And then this top part of the stand um, just comes right out of its base like that. And you'll notice that there's two lengths. Two of them are longer, one of them is shorter. You put the two long ones in front and your shorter one in back, and that gives you the nice angle to play at. Uh, so that comes apart there. Next, we unscrew this. It comes with this um, very handy little tool. Put it here, and you simply unscrew these legs, and the wheel comes out like that. Put this here, start unscrewing. And the stand is so well designed that you often um, don't need to screw these in that tightly. You can do it without that piece if you just keep that bolt in place here, and you can just unscrew it with your fingers. Take the final wheel out, and then you have uh, the base just comes up part into these three um, slabs of wood, and there you have it. The stand comes all apart and is super portable. Then the whole thing fits 
into this case right here. Take that out, put my drum in, and the tops in. Nice and secure. The whole thing closes up very nicely, has this fantastic pull, and uh, you're ready to go on to your next gig. So this is the new Nadal Hiradaiko. Um, it's a really fantastic new uh, drum from Miyamoto Onosuke Shoten. Mm -hmm. You can see the, the grain of the wood, and this is uh, keaki, so the most sought after hardwood for, for taiko. Um, the craftsmanship they put into these instruments is, is incredible, and it really comes through in the tone of the instrument. It's a beautiful, full, round tone, um, really easy to listen to, super versatile. You can get a lot of different colors out of this instrument. It's great for, for making music and, and, for, and for playing taiko. Um, it's also very portable and very lightweight, especially when you consider how good it sounds. And I think that is something that we're always looking for um, as, as traveling musicians, is something that sounds really great, but is, uh, but is portable. Um, and in that way, I feel like this new drum is, uh, is pretty unbeatable. So that's it, the new Nadal Hiradaiko. Check it out. <laughs>